So I'm sure if you're watching this, you've seen Brainstorm and the Green Needle thing, just as you saw Yanny and Laurel. Well, Yanny and Laurel was actually explained a lot easier than the whole Brainstorm or Green Needle. If you guys have not seen this, I'm going to play this for the 50 seconds, and you guys can listen to it, and you can hear Brainstorm and both Green Needle, depending on which one you want to hear. I'm No, I'm not kidding. This actually works. And I found an article related to it, and it kind of explains how exactly our brain is doing this. So I'm going to read that to you guys after. You guys can watch this, or you guys can skip ahead if you've already watched this, and I will do my best to explain and read the article. So here we go. <laughs> Now, so when I first watched that, I was like, holy crap, what is happening? So I did some looking up, I looked online, and I found this on Persian Fashion, which is a very random thing, but they wrote an article on it, so I'm going to read it for you guys, and I'll link it at the top of the description. It says, um, now before we allow this to become the next Laurel and Yanny, we have some bad news. There is, in fact, a right and wrong answer. The video shows a toy. That toy is from the kids' TV show Ben 10. And his name is Brainstorm. Great show, by the way. Used to watch it. So, why is it that some people are insistent that what they're hearing is Green Needle? Well, one explanation is that this is an extremely good example of the psychological effect known as priming. So while you might originally hear the word Brainstorm, if the tweet tells you that the word is in fact something else, your brain could justifiably make the switch. Of course, that can't just happen with any word, so there must be some clear similarities between the audio in the same way that Laurel and Yanny all give us a headache. Earlier this week, we spoke to Professor Valerie Hazan, a speech, hearing, and phonetic sciences expert from the University Co of College London, and she was able to shed some light on what's happening with these audio illusions. On explaining how you can switch between hearing both words, Professor Hazan said, The reason that a person can see their perceptin switch without explanation may also mean that our ears and brain have latched onto the other acoustic pattern than the one they were previously latching onto. Add that to the visual cue that it could be, in fact, Green Needle, and you've got yourself a case well and truly closed. So I know that's a bit confusing to everyone who is, um, you know, just, just confused about this whole thing. But it has to do with priming and having the words have similarities. Um, if, if, if you listen back and you kind of... And it almost sounds a bit mumbly, in my opinion. So brainstorm and green needle, I know they're completely different words, but it almost sounds a bit similar. You guys can watch it back and let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. I just wanted to give my opinion and see what you guys thought about it. Guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section because I'm pretty curious. You guys can subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.